expected its six million Israelis now within Palestinian rocket range. As sirens wail over Tel Aviv, there was also calm. Israel's defense system they call Iron Dome, shooting down rockets and saving lives. But officials aren't taking chances, preparing underground shelters like this one in Tel Aviv, built to accommodate thousands. People might try to hurt us, we will not give in to that, and life will go on. And for now, so too will the fighting. Ayman Mohideen, NBC News, Tel Aviv. In this country, there's news tonight concerning those new security measures involving personal electronic devices at major airports overseas. NBC News has learned a small number of domestic travelers, those currently on any sort of federal watch list, may be told to turn their electronic device devices on at security checkpoints while traveling within the U.S. While these are the passengers who are already subjected to enhanced checks whenever they fly, same rules apply. If your device won't turn on, you can't get on the plane. Former Democratic mayor of New Orleans, Ray Nagan, a major figure who took a lot of heat during Hurricane Katrina and the aftermath, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison after being convicted on several corruption charges, including bribery, money laundering. He was accused of taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and trips from business executives in exchange for work from the city. He has denied wrongdoing. As he at first indicated to us during our exclusive interview recently in Moscow, Edward Snowden has formally applied to the Russians to extend his stay. Russian news agencies are quoting Snowden's lawyer, saying he made the application to Russian authorities before his one-year permit expires at the end of this month. Still ahead for us this evening, a big-name celebrity strikes back at a big name in tabloids and wins defending his new family. And later, the attraction that's going to pack him in for miles around this summer were concerns over its safety for real.